Hi guys. So previously I have done a video about and uh, to review the Google Nexus Player and uh, show you how to install all the apps to sh to watch free movies and TV. So the more I use the the, the Google Nexus uh, Player, the more I like it. But I also found that it is lacking some uh, important features, such as a browser. So when you are, want to go online to search for something or download something, um, the Google Chrome browser, although it's made by Google, it's simply not here. Uh, I think the reason is they don't want you to use it because the Nexus Google Nexus Player is advertised as more TV, less browsing. So which means they, they want to simplify the, the functions. They don't want you to use the um, Google uh, Chrome. And which is evidence here, uh, if you go to Google Play Store on this device and search for Chrome, it doesn't come up with, with anything because it detects your device to be the Google TV uh, operating system. So it will not show up the, the Google Chrome browser in the App Store, in the Google Play Store. But it is still a function that's uh, available on, on, obviously this is made by Google and this is Android, so the function is there, it's just somewhere hidden. And uh, also, we, uh, so today I'm going to show you two ways to get a browsing capability. So if you need it, you can somehow browse a website. Now one way to do this is uh, kind of uh, complicated. Uh, you go to, basically, you go to settings on this box and you go all the way to about and scroll down to ads which is not very intuitive and on this ads page you can see these things uh, these uh, legal things or, uh, but the thing is the, the, the player's remote cannot navigate on this page somehow you need a mouse so watch my previous video and that shows you how to connect a keyboard or mouse wirelessly to the micro USB port on this device. So once you have a mouse, you can see here, I have a mouse, and I can click uh, Ads by Google, click this one. It goes to the browser, right? So complete with the, the URL bar and everything. And uh, also you can, if you scroll down, if you, you can either go here and type in the address um, with this uh, remote, or you can go down the, to the bottom where it says Google Home. If you click Google Home, it basically allows you to search for anything. So you can either type in a web address or keyword to, lo uh, to try to search and go to their website. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, the first time you use it. Some okay, so pretty much that's the the first way to do it, but you have to go through all these uh, all these uh, steps to access this hidden browser. Um, or what you can do is also you can because once you have enabled the third-party APK installation, again watch my video and I should show you how to do this. It's in the settings. Uh, you can in actually install APK from an external device. If you ins uh, connect a USB drive or a SD card reader to your micro USB port on this one, you can access an external storage device. You just basically download the Chrome APK file from a trusted source. For example, go to apkmirror.com and search for Chrome and you can find an APK file and just copy that APK file to uh, your whatever storage device you have, USB drive, connect it to this uh, player. So you need a file browser. Uh, again, this is covered in my previous video. In this case, I downloaded ES File Explorer, a file manager, and just go to, this again is better used with a mouse. Just go to your USB device on this USB storage. You can see I have downloaded this com.android.com from apkmirror.com and just click that and select OK to install and once you install you will have a perfectly working uh, Chrome browser where it, it, it is is 
if you haven't installed the side loader launcher, side load launcher, which is covered on my previous video how to do this. If you haven't done this, then this app is only available in the settings and go to apps, you can access from there. But if you have installed side load launcher, all the apps, if you case you have installed, is here. So this the Chrome is here once you install it. I'll show you how it works. See, it comes with a URL bar and everything. It's actually the same thing, um, almost the same thing, um, when you access from about. But that one is a um, embedded hidden one in the system. But this one is one you installed. Um, but it, they're not exactly the same version though. So this one you installed is actually a Chrome browser for Android say Lollipop 5.0. The other one is hidden inside this operating system, probably Google TV. Anyway, so if you, I'll show you the, basically how to search for this version, APK to install, is basically, you go to apkmirror.com. A, P, K, APK Mirror dot com go there again this this page is probably better browsed with a mouse and keyboard because it's kinda of hard to, to use a remote which is why they probably why they didn't put a browser on this device in the first place. So you just use search on apkmirror.com, search for search for obviously Chrome. Search for Chrome. The mouse doesn't work on the virtual keyboard, actually. Okay, so if you see the results, uh, there are several, uh, actually multiple results for the uh, Google Chrome browser APK. You, you're gonna. You want to be careful because some of these versions are not for your device. Uh, for example, the, the, the Dev uh, 51, if you click into it, get, show the information. It's probably for Google N or N+. Plus. Uh, for, just so you know, if you Google this information, Google Nexus Player is a x86 based CPU, 64 bit, and comes with a Android TV operating system, which is based on Lollipop 5.0. So if you want to download an APK for Chrome, you want to find something that's designed for x86, uh, I think 32-bit or 64-bit, doesn't matter that much, but it has to be uh, designed for x86 and also uh, for Lollipop 5.0. So if you go to the version I downloaded, is I think it's something like 49, but anyway, this is also better than on the computer. This uh, Android version it is on this device is not very... So if you click the information, click the variants, it will show you what it's designed for. Go back. This probably not the one we're looking for. Chrome. 
the 51, okay, let's try the 50. I don't want to know why it says primer. Anyways, I, like I said, this is probably better done on a computer. Just go to a computer, go to apkmirror.com and search for Google, uh, Google Chrome, search for Chrome and find the variants that's going to fit exactly your device, which is x86 based CPU and designed for 5.0 lollipop. That will work. Okay, so there you have it, a perfectly working Chrome browser on your Google Nexus player, where there's a, supposed to be no uh, browser. It's situated in sideload launcher.